Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Flipper Heimer. Uh, this is a Geiger counter for the Flipper Zero. This was sent to me for free from Ereed. Uh, you can check out his Tendi store. I will post a link in the description below. Ereed is Erwin Reed. He is a developer for the Mayhem Portapack community as well as the Flipper Zero and I'm sure a few other things, but he does have his own Tindy store. And we can see here on the screen recording we got, he makes the Mayhem V2 uh, four flipper. It is an all-in-one ESP C uh, cam, SD, NRF, plus CC1101. Um, those boards are $95.99. And then he has the Heimer. Uh, this again, this is a Geiger counter and these run for $32.99. Ultra compact radiation detector add-on for your Flipper Zero. Monitor beta and gamma radiation levels. So that's pretty cool. Gain environment work, gain environment awareness instantly. Uh, these sell out pretty fast. I just got this one in about two, three weeks ago and I haven't had too much time to play with it. He did 3D print this little case for me as well. And you can, the, there's options to buy these, rebuild them yourself, or you could, uh, have him do everything for you so i kept it easy and just had him do all the assembly plus the calibration uh, on the actual tube in the inside and i haven't opened this yet let's see if we can get this guy open so we can kind of see what's going on under the hood here and kind of use my little knife to pry up the housing little lid right there there we go now it's coming and then right about there. I don't really know how fragile that tube is in the inside, but I also don't want to break it. There we have the internals of that guy. You see here, again, we have our actual Geiger tube. We have the little click piezo there, and then the circuitry, and all its soldering goodness. We're gonna plug this into the Flipper Zero here. We're gonna go down to, I am running Momentum firmware. I don't know the if it's the latest or not. I updated it like two weeks ago, so it could be. We're gonna go to apps. Then we're gonna go to GPIO. And then just go up, and then we're gonna go find the Geiger counter. Just past it right there. And then you can see that we are running. And the little green, uh, flicks are indicating that it is picking up some form of radiation. There is natural radiation pretty much in all environments. High radiation uh, doses that is greater than 100 millirems, uh, MREM, or 1 millisievert, uh, which is uh, registered in MSV. So this registers in CPM. So a high uh, counts per minute, so not counts per million, my bad, counts per minute. Is going to be anything over a hundred or higher. So we can see here that we are looking at 29 is kind of the average uh, organic radiation, I guess. You know, it could be from the material in this house, it could be coming up from the concrete. Uh, just natural radiation occurs everywhere. Um, I live in Montana, and there are some spots that have radon. Uh, seeping from the ground and radon is a natural occurring radiation that comes out from the earth um, So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a little video I'll put somewhere over here of me going through uh, an old uh, Factory type area uh, that was built in the early 1900s and just kind of checking to see what the radio what the radiation levels are there Nothing high. I think my highest like, count was like maybe like 45 or 50 but nothing detrimental to your health. So uh, that is kind of the gist of the Flipperheimer uh, that was sent to me. I appreciate it, ma'am. You're awesome. And I will use this a lot more because, again, here in Montana, we have actually a lot of high uh, radiation levels. And there are some rocks that you can find that have natural radiation levels that will ping pretty high. There's a lot of videos out there on YouTube where guys will have a Geiger counter of sorts and then they can move around, find a rock, and then that rock they'll put in a vacuum chamber and then they'll puff in like dry ice and then you can see like actual radiation flying off the 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 rock or whatever they are testing. So I'll put a link to those guys' uh, videos too in case you're curious and you haven't really seen uh, exactly what 
radiation looks like in a environment where you can actually physically see it with dry ice. Um, but but yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I, I like little things like this, you know, um, cute little board here. Anyways, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that fun stuff because it helps me out and helps the channel out. And you guys are awesome. Thanks.